So sometimes you're driving along in your Barbie Jeep and you want to have like your drink of water, your McDonald's or something, and you don't have any hands free and you don't have any cup holders because space is a bit limited. Um, and you're also holding the steering wheel with one hand and the brake with the other. Um, so. so we're going to build a robotic arm that can hold your drink for you. Uh, and it will hold it and stabilize it so that your drink doesn't spill while you're driving around in your meme machine. Wait, safety spectacles. Do you think it counts if I put the safety glasses on the camera? <laughs> oh yeah, the straightness of those cuts leaves something to be desired. This is Georgia Tech Engineering at its finest. This is basically what you do in 2110. I mean, yeah. Let's see how sturdy it is. Perfect. Oh, but this isn't gonna work. Door. Nope, not gonna happen. <laughs> you got this, right? Yeah. So in the next servo, I think we put on the inside of this one. Yeah, facing that makes this sense. way. So that way it's like yeah. straight. This is heat too big. Oh, f <laughs> I'll glue the drill next hole. This is your center punch. <laughs> Why though? It's got a tungsten carbide oh. tip. Here, here's the real question. Can this, like... Okay, okay, it can hold itself out. That's pretty good. Yeah, like, it's pretty decent. It, it can at least support itself. It can move. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go show Milo. He's a uh, electrical engineer, fourth year, so he should know a lot about things like this and be able to evaluate it for us. Milo! Try to move it. <laughs> We're up here pillaging for power supplies. It also doesn't help. Uh, and it's a, like spaghetti. This is version 1.0, shitty bot. So what it's supposed to be doing is called uh, reverse displacement analysis. So we put in a 3D X, Y, and Z position and then it computes the uh, angles for all the servos. Turns out that these servos are so shitty that it's supposed to be moving in a straight line, but the servos can't actually like maintain position or angle properly, so it's actually not being a straight line. So then we, uh, we laser cut some fresh servo links from some wood. By the robotics lab, picked up some new servos. Still not the servos we're going to use in the final version. And so the idea is we're going to glue together a far less shitty robot. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have tightened it so much. You don't need to tighten it really. I, I would just hold up my hands to be honest. That's dangerous. Though. That's not dangerous. You'll be fine. Dangerous. <laughs> Safety first. Safety first, second, and third. And what maybe comes even fourth? fourth. What if Arsenal's fourth? Oh, it's a joke for people who saw it. follow the EPL. Nobody will get it. This one, then build it out, or build the whole thing, then glue it out. This one's the short one. Maybe we should glue the whole thing together, and then attach it. Uh, okay. Should we just glue this like that? Yeah, something like that. Which way? Like this, this yeah, like that. Wait. Yeah, like that. Yes. yes. Oh, wait. Hey, Dustin. What? You're stupid. We need to glue these sideways. This one sideways. I fucked up. You know what? You know what the problem is, Dustin? What? You, your, your lines say it should go this you way. You know what? <laughs> Let's plug her up. This is, which one goes in which? You gotta plug in the one. Yeah, I'm working on it. Interesting. 
We sure burst both arms. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. A plug. <laughs> that was interesting. It was like it was like elbow up, and you wanted it to be elbow down. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> we got the angles working, but we, <laughs> it's supposed to be moving in a circle, like a circular motion, and we changed the time constant basically in between, like how it evaluates in between each step. And apparently it's a bit too high, so now I'm just sort of doing this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot smoother. It's, it's actually so much better. It's actually really it's good. a lot better. Oh yeah, this one is a loosey juicy. All right, we've proved that this is a lot better than this, but I don't know if that's saying much. We programmed it to do a circle, and it's actually so the hard part about this is being actually to calculate all the angles simultaneously from a three-dimensional point. And it's actually maintaining height pretty well. What would you rate this? Uh, solid one out of one. So the next step in the arm to make it stabilize is we have to have it uh, track the end effector. And if you saw in the, the second version of our robot, the end effector was this ping pong ball. And so we wrote this program here in MATLAB because that's all we know. Uh, is yay engineering. Um, but basically, if we run it here, it'll find the ping pong ball and put a little red cross on the centroid of it, which is pretty cool. Uh, so it knows the location of the ping pong ball, which would be the end effector. So at about 7 p.m. tonight, uh, we decided to try to um, get our values from MATLAB into the Arduino. Because we thought it wouldn't take very long, it would be pretty easy since we did most of the hard part, uh, which was actually coding the vision software and all of the Arduino ARM stuff. Um, it's now 11.30 and we finished about 20 minutes ago. Oh, oh you son of a <laughs> bitch. <Snapchat. laughs> MATLAB crashed. <laughs> so you can see when you move the uh, ping pong ball around, the brightness of the LEDs change. So you can see red is Z. And then you have X and Y for uh, green and yellow. All right, so we finally got this thing working. Uh, you can see when you move it side to side, it uh, actually tracks to the center of the camera. Uh, it's not the fastest thing in the world because we found if we cranked up the gain on the uh, controller that we made for it, basically just sort of starts freaking out and oscillating all over the place. But it does do X, Y, and Z position. What do you learn from this project? Uh, serial communication sucks. Uh, MATLAB sucks, uh, Arduino code sucks, just coding in general sucks. We'd like to just machine crap, and uh, yeah, the arm just stopped working. So next video, we're going to build a better one out of metal with an accelerometer, and it's going to hold your beer, and it's going to be great.